Hey, I'm Jessica with Electro Lane, and I filmed this look coming next. Uh, this is how I would do my makeup right now if I were getting married. Right now. And it's very simple, very clean, but just so you know, it took about 53 minutes to do all of it. This is edited way down for time, and I'm not really focused on the products I'm using. I just wanted to kind of see the outcome. And I'm actually noticing in real time here, I don't like this. This is what happens with wedding makeup, right? You need like 14 looks. <laughs> Meaning you look at it, you go back, you reevaluate, you take all pictures in all different lights, um, whatever it takes to get the perfect final look for you. So this is what I would do if I were getting married right now. Very simple. Um, you'll see some of the products used, but again, there's like way too many to link. I will say kind of the key standout products are, are this um, Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. It's waterproof. It lasts forever, super full coverage. I love it. Um, also, this is the Wayne Goss, um, it's got a nice name, Radiance Boosting Face Palette, but it's basically your bronzer and your contour. But this is also like the best eyeshadow. You'll see me contour my whole face with it. Um, and then the bronzer is just the most beautiful, like fresh, clean looking bronzer. And there's three different shades for light, medium, and dark skin. Highly recommend that. Um, and then, of course, a good spray to, to um, lock everything in. This is the All Nighter by Urban Decay. Definitely worth a splurge. I use my sort of favorite foundation um, combo. If I were actually getting married, I would use a full coverage. I love the Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, I think it's called Airbl Airbrushed Flawless Foundation because um, it is super long lasting and very full coverage and beautiful finish. Um, and the last product I would suggest is the Jason Wu Honey Fluff. Um, and lip liner so this is uh shade number one and this is shade number three um so this is a little bit lighter this is a little bit darker that's what i'm wearing right now it doesn't budge it's very comfortable and it doesn't get all the crusties like a lot of long wearing lipsticks get so just a few standout products if you're getting married congratulations please enjoy this video and i'll see you soon all right, we're gonna prep our eyes, but you know the drill. I have snoring puppies right here, so just ignore the background noise. <laughs> Anything will do. Concealer, this is a Painterly Paint Pot by MAC, whatever. I'm using the Natasha Denona Camel Palette and going in with the lightest shade and a fluffy brush all over the lid, except for the inner corner and the brow. Taking a medium shade and going in that crease area because I have a lot of space here. If you don't, you can go deeper into the crease, but I'm just trying to open up the eye and blend it all together, then taking the darkest shade and going right in the actual like line where there's a crease in my eye. And um, of course, going back in and blending that. I've, I've edited so much of this out, but just know that there's like 30 minutes of blending you're missing. <laughs> now taking the lightest shade and packing it into the lid, the inner corner, and the brow and um, going back in sort of with the darker shade too to um, get a really pretty gradient. That's the word I'm looking for. You want it to be a nice blend, but you don't want to bring in the dark too far because that can kind of close up the eye and we want everything really nice and kind of blended. So that's the final eyeshadow look, easy enough. Now I'm gonna take this sort of bendy brush. This is super old and one of my puppies chewed it, but you can get a really great one for Makeup Forever worth the splurge and a long wear cream eyeliner and I'm going just at the base of the lash line but then I'm going back in at the center and sort of building it up this is going to give my eyes are kind of that like almond shape I want them to look bigger and rounder so building the product up in the center will make them look rounder now curl your eyelashes and apply a nice thin coat of mascara because we're going in with individual lashes now you can kind of see I'm going in long first and then sort of in the center of the eye and then medium and then I fill in everywhere else with short lashes you can kind of see where the dots of glue are where I'm putting them but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip forward four minutes <laughs> and now we're gonna skip to the short you can see where I put everything again where those little dots and this is very personal I do this for all my brides and I've even like taken some of these individuals and popped them on a strip lash and then put that on. It's all personal preference. I just really love the way it comes out, as you will see. It's so beautiful and we're not done with it yet, but all the lashes are on, we still have some things to do, but we're gonna let that dry 
as we move on to the face. So I'm gonna take off these awesome under eye patches. These are such a treat for brides and just kind of press in any excess of the serum and then go in with my foundation. I'm gonna use a brush first and then go back through with the Beauty Blender just to press it into the skin. Now I am going to, oh yeah, duh, sorry. Uh, you wanna make sure, this is my concealer step two, so make sure you get it under your eyes. That's what I was gonna say. Now you take a corrector if you are dark like I am to brighten that area up. And then this is a nice setting powder. So I'm pressing it into the skin first, then I'm going in with my beauty blender. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I forgot about the powder step. Then you go in with the beauty blender, kind of smush the powder and the foundation all together, and it's gonna look really skin-like and beautiful. So this is where I'm putting my contour and you can just kind of you know buff that in with your foundation brush, but I wanna show you specifically for the cheek what I'm doing. I wanna stay kind of far back, right? Because if you come too far forward, you can almost age yourself. So push that product in and kind of stay towards the back part of your cheek and then really blend it in with a beauty blender. Next, you wanna go in with your highlighter right on the, the high points of the face and the inner corner of the eye is so pretty and of course, Blend that in with the Beauty Blender too. We're doing this now because we don't want it to be too, too shiny um, through our makeup. This is where you wanna go in and set everything with a setting spray right now. And thanks, Emily Gemma. Uh, I think she's the sweetest thing blog.com. She uses this little fan and it really does help everything dry. And we want everything dry because we gotta go back and finish our eyes. So I'm taking a little Q-tip and just gently brushing off all the dry mascara we got on our lids. And this is so, so important. Take your dark eyeshadow. You can use black um, if you have a black eyeliner or I'm just using the dark brown from my palette and that same brush and just going over the base of the lashes so there's no, you don't see the kind of shininess of the glue. Now you wanna curl your lashes together and then this is my favorite trick. I take this beautiful fan brush. My Kit Co has one. You can get it from Beautylish. This is an old one. They don't sell it anymore and paint your lashes. Just take a little bit of mascara and paint each individual lash. You can sort of situate them too so they're going the direction you want and it is a really beautiful solution. You can do this with your everyday mascara too. Now the most glorious Wayne Goss, his brand new contour and bronzer palette is coming out. Contour all the areas you uh, contoured with your cream. This helps lock it in. And now I'm contouring my lips. This is a kind of advanced technique but Basically, you go just outside the sort of outer ridge of your actual lip line. Then you're going to go press in with your beauty blender because otherwise it looks kind of weird and we don't want it to look weird. But just trust me, you'll see the end result. It's great. Now we're going to take a light pencil and fill in that inner rim. A lot of times you're sleepy on your wedding day, so this will just brighten you up. Now I'm going to take the sparkly shade from the palette and put it just under the sort of center part of your lower eye. This is gonna add a little sparkle and help open your eyes up even more. Now it's time for brows, and because we wanna lock everything in place, I'm going in with sort of a soap brow. This is from Iconic London, and it really helps to make everything stay in place and look nice and fluffy and natural for the big day. Now it's time for bronzer. You guys know where that goes by now, but I just always like watching bronzer, so wherever the sun would naturally hit you, and I just wanna showcase this gorgeous Wayne Goss bronzer, totally worth it. Now this is First Love Blush by Charlotte Tilbury. It's very bridal, um, but I like it up on the high, high points of the cheekbones, kind of going over where we put the highlighter earlier. And now we're coming in with some pressed powder and getting anywhere that's shiny. Now it's extra shiny looking here because I have a super bright light, like a foot from my face. Um, but you still wanna make sure that everything is nice and Kind of matte and smooth where you want it and that's going to be personal to you. Finally we're coming in with concealer. This is the last step that sort of brightens, highlights, brings everything together and I'm going sort of in the hollows of my eyes right there giving myself instant under eye filler. Finishing out the nose contour and these little divots on either side of my nose. Pressing that in with the fingers. This just gives the most beautiful finish and you know pressing it all out and blending it all in. It looks great. Now we're going with lips. So you're gonna go basically between where you put that shadow before and your natural lip line to slightly overdraw, give you a nice fluffy pout, a nice creamy lip 
product to stay put throughout your entire day and a little trick you can just sort of press it in that'll help it stay longer too you're just gonna finish it off with some spray and that's it is the final look it's very natural very beautiful and I hope you feel gorgeous on your wedding day